So this year we'll be working with UniClutch, uh, they sent us the UniClutch trap. So yeah, first thing when you open the, which first off, we talked about this packaging, like have a spare in the trailer. This thing is fully foam inserted, ready to go. Never seen packaging this good. First thing you see is this here has a QR code, which tells you your install instructions. So this clutch here, it's uni clutch. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure it's a universal clutch because the spline drive in the center is universal and you have a fitment kit and an outer ring. So any one of their clutches can go on over, it's 5,000 vehicles. This one's good to 1,450 foot pounds, built in friction surface. So you'd never need to resurface your flywheel. And it's a sprung 10 inch twin disc. So when you get into the fitment kit here, you have more instructions. So this is what it is here. You got your ring and then you got your multiple spine drives and the clutch. So this is them here. So it comes with the C-clip and then your spine drives and the outer ring to bolt to the flywheel. So come over here. Here we have the fitment kit. So you can scan the QR code, figure out which spine you need, or, you know, just double check from your guess it's that one. And first try was definitely that one. Yeah, so now that we confirmed it is this spine drive here, uh, we'll need to put this in the clutch with the C-clip. Then we'll need to scan the QR code to find the proper amount of shims we need. So if we come back over here, this is going in a my 2JZ S13 comp car at 750 horsepower. And we need something to hold that power. So we toasted our old clutch, which is over there. So yeah, we run a CD009 with the Fish Racing Tech Kit. Uh, so with that, we're using their single plate flywheel. So this clutch is designed to just bolt on to a regular 350Z. So with your single plate clutch, uses a stock style single plate 350Z clutch. So your engine should bolt in, we're pretty confident. So come back over here, grab our instructions. Scan them there. So here we're gonna start by finding your vehicle. This should be a Nissan 370Z. Three fifty Z. Let's go with a weight because it's a double nine. That one works. Each other. So that that information should match our transmission. Now we've set up the vehicle. We got to pick our clutch, which we have the Uni Clutch Track. So these here, it's the OE Clutch Masters Dual Mass or so we're gonna go not the factory fitted one because we're using the fish racing tech so with the fish racing tech flywheel the single plate one it is the same works with an oem clutch so we're going to pick oem flywheel and we're going to go next and then installation guide generate so now that we've set up uh, which flywheel we have, which is not the OEM one, but it's OEM spacing. Uh, we put in the vehicle, the clutch model, it gave us the fitment kit, flywheel, and our clutch part number. So it says flywheel location. So that's referring to the dowel, so dowel G. So if we go over to the fitment ring, it's dowel G here, which will fit all the dowels of the flywheel. And then spacing required. So in this kit, it comes with these spacers and these bolts. So you need to put the proper amount of spacers in to get the spacing right bolts on your OEM or whatever flywheel you have. So for our, our application, it's zero millimeter. So that means no spacers, simple, just bolts on. So our fitment kit here, we're gonna be using G on the dowels here. We're gonna set that aside for now. We grab our spline drive, double check again, it's all good. So we're gonna take this here. First thing we're going to do is get the spline drive in. So, just going to pop that just like so. And then, the next thing we've got the snap ring in there. Just 
for that or should it's secured in there. All right, so now that we got the spline in there, it's secure. And from the factory, it's uh, pre-lined, so no need to use anything to line the clutch discs. So now, so put this kit here, make sure it's facing up. And just like that, fits snug on there. And we gotta get the bolts. So this here, if you have a step flywheel, you need to be careful or else you need spacers. With ours, you do not. So the spacers there. So with ours, it's just a flat flywheel, so we have zero trims. You know, this here, you have to add a little Loctite to all the threads and torque to 22 foot pounds. Now the uni clutch is fully assembled, we got the spline drive in. We got this fitment ring on. So this clutch, let's say, we went to an LS, which would never happen because we're cooler than that. Um, this could go on that. You just need different fitment kits or different splines, different ring. So this is the zero spacer. So just sits flush because the flywheel is not stepped. So there we go. Now we're going to use G. So let's spline drive. That will be. Use flywheel, which doesn't really matter because the friction surface is built into the clutch. So yeah. Okay, so now we got the uni clutch track installed. Uh, Torquey pressure plate bolts to 22 foot pounds. And uh, yeah, that should handle all the abuse we have to throw at it. And uh, as you know, I put this car through hell and back. So uh, should be good. The transmission. After a few runs with the uni clutch, all I can say it's amazing. Grabs the way I want it to and still very drivable with good pedal feel, unlike most high torque capacity clutches. If you need a clutch, whether that's for your daily driver or an all-out race car, definitely go to uniclutch.com. They have four clutches ranging from 650 foot-pounds all the way up to 1,450, as well as one for off-road vehicles. If you don't see one for your vehicle, engine, or gearbox conversion, definitely reach out to their team for assistance. They can get you properly set up like they did for our CDW9 to 2JZ conversion.